Greetings, everyone, with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro coming up. I'm Mike Emmerich. We got a chance to be around one of the best teams in the league that we're going to watch tonight. What did you take from that? They have great confidence. I mean, when we had a chance to visit with them a few hours ago, they just have a great confidence about them, understanding of knowing who they are, the structure that they play with, and know that they can play with any team in the entire National Hockey League, but a very confident bunch each and every night. The Flames' identity has been on full display all season long as they sit near the top of the league standings. They understand who and what they are, and that's how they approach each and every night, regardless of the opponent. And now we turn to the last lines of defense, the goalies. He gets the nod in goal tonight despite a loss in his last outing. He's in the crease to start the game. He's worked on his positioning and practice. Now it's time to get a win for the Jets. Face-off number one gets us underway. We have begun in Calgary. The Jets didn't play well enough to get the win in their last game. Their coach has asked them to get back to their game tonight. Pitching this one to Goodrow. That puck struck him in front. Couldn't get through. It's loose. One goal away from a milestone, Doc. He's out there bidding for it. Collected by Sacha. Long lead pass to Sergachev. Did not go very well that time. Loose puck. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Looks ahead to start something. Calgary's in control of the puck up the wing. The battle for possession continues. To Hansen. Puck loose. Strong defensive play by Skinner. Perfect pass. Tape to tape. He's got it at center ice from right wing. Terrific poke check. He just panned on it. Gives it on a cross from the point. Winnipeg's up the wing settling things. Slid to Skinner. Laid on to Suzuki. Chip to Sergachev. Just missed the net. There's not really much place to go with the shot. He's trying to be perfect. He misses, and the puck rings around the boards. Pass cut. Stood him right up. Here's a one-timer. Oh, he got it. You couldn't have chosen a better guy for that shot, or apparently a better guy to stop it. Picks it up back there. Driving in from no man's land. The Jets control the play in their own end. Oh, the pass just didn't work. Receives that pass from the other side. Lips one. Not on the net. He had some heat on that one, Doc. Hard shot. A shot. Great save at the edge of the crease. Great display of goaltending right there, Doc. Just under four minutes have transpired in the period. Nothing on the scoreboard has changed. Still a pair of zeros. Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. Two on one. And he picks it up. And decides to just cover it up and get the whistle. Drop, face off one, and the winger stepped right in. He had a great chance, but he has just missed the net. Score! And that's the 400th goal of his career. This player has been taking advantage of almost every scoring chance he's had in his entire career. 400 career goals, that's amazing. Oh, the key, once you score one, try and get another. Push them back on their heels. They've got one. Go get two. 
The Flames now have a one goal lead in the first period. Perhaps they can build on this and carry something sizable to the dressing room. Flames goal scored by number Calgary's in possession as they travel through the neutral zone. By number 32, Sasha. And by number 37, Cuts off the passing lane in the defensive zone. The goal. Four minutes, 15 Gains the seconds. zone. With a shot, he missed the net. I expected him to at least get the puck on net from the slot, but that shot was way out. Things are heating up with that hit. Hanson's the type of player that responds to this type of game. It's going to be aggressive from start to finish, and his team wants to have the upper hand. Got that pass in his own end. Carries it behind the goalie. Cuts off that pass in the attacking zone. Offside, neutral zone faceoff coming in. Winnipeg's coaching staff is always prodding their players to be more aggressive, to finish checks, to separate body from puck. They don't have to tell him. He's always among the highest hit totals in the league. Big drive. Good chance here, but a terrific pass save. Trying to go to Sacha. Directing that one to Goudreau. The Flames are driving it from the wing. Chooses the corner for this. Middle stats hooked on this play, and the arm of the referee is high. Cut that pass in his own end. That's a really dangerous area with the puck, and he turned it over. Now the opponent has a short ice to attack. That puck has to go forward into a safe area 100% of the time. Uh, more times than not, Doc, anytime you reach in around a player's hands that has the puck, you're going to get a hooking minor. Jets penalty to number 37. Tail play. Two minutes for hooking. Time of the penalty, seven minutes. The Flames seconds. will get their first power play crack of the game. Let's see how they do. Winnipeg's given a minor here for tripping. One of the biggest problems on a five-on-three is teams are too cautious. They don't shoot the puck enough, and they make it too easy for the penalty killers to kill it off. Winnipeg penalty to number 36. Puck dropped, and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. Eight minutes, 20 minutes. Cleared it back out of there. They must retreat and start back again. Passing one off now to Sergachev. Up to the point. In deep, trying to score. Caught right over him and couldn't get it passed. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. He finally got it out of there. Pitching it to Goudreau. Good look and a solid pass up the wing to Middlestad. Gathered up by Hansen. The Jets organizing back in their own end. The shot is off. New players coming on for the Jets. That move not too slick there. Calgary's going back further to get restarted on this man advantage. The Flames skated up on the side. Free puck thanks to the roadblock. Trying to get rid of that puck. Good keep at the line. More attack coming. Terrific challenge. Outstanding save. Great opportunity. Better stop. Shoot. No. Block. That puck slowed up and just missed the side of the net. Winnipeg's controlling play now up the wing. He takes that point pass. Nice work with that stick. Knocked it away. Has that point pass as well. Corral. He cut that one off in the defensive end. Propel to middle step. Calgary's power play could have made a big difference, but did not. Did not get anything up. Punched away. Makes the stop and holds for the whistle. Over nine minutes to go in the period. Calgary's ahead, 1-0. The faceoff, the tie-up, and a solid job from the winger there. Gates it into the zone. Good pass off the boards. Great job in his own end with that interception. 
Skinner's trying to do way too much there with that offensive opportunity. Stole that pass at a critical end of the ice. Oh, what a pad save! Held there for a faceoff coming up next. Winnipeg's got another win. Puck is thrown to Johnson. Lost it, but got it back. Made that stop. Sent that pass on ahead. On to Zucker. Snapping a pass to Johnson. Got it in his own end. Skill play drives ahead. That shot came from right in front. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Hard work here. Kicked out of that battle. Terrific determination by Dorsey. Steps in from the neutral zone. Snaps a shot. Wonderful stop. A little under six minutes remaining here in the period. We are at one goal apiece. It'll come free, but not without a lot of work. Looking to Sawchuk. Pass attempt to Dorset. Moving it to Sawchuk. Really solid job done defensively. That takes some of the pressure off when you can use your stick like that. Waits from the corner. Points it. A point blast. Save there. And he puts the glove on it and stops play. The Jets prevailing on the faceoff. Loose puck blocked off by Sancho. Very important steal for him. Look out, the hits are coming. Hansen's often been talked about as a 200-foot player. That means using your body, but just trying to get yourself around the ice with your skin. The Flames guilty of a minor penalty for using the stick blade. Just a hook. The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. Winnipeg's power play unit gets its first opportunity. It's a great opportunity for them on their first power play. Get the puck to the point, get it to the net, and crowd the net for rebounds. That puck is held, and the whistle stops play. Puck drop, tie up, and help from the winger. Cleared it out of there. The Jets have a manpower advantage still and begin from their own end. A shot. That's a great save. I was watching for sticks to go up. No celebration this time. The tie-up, he needed help, and he got it. Somebody got in early, and so offside is called. Neutral zone face off one. Possession established here. Rifled in by Hansen. And a save! Cuts off that pass on the attack. The Flames are at the wing in neutral ice. Carried towards the corner by Zucker. The Flames successfully killed off the penalty, so we're at full strength now. Is able to move on in. Got that pass in his own end. Has it picked up. 
the Jets with a neutral zone possession along the wing. Carries it to the corner. Stole that pass away in his own end. The Flames are skating it up in neutral ice. Now it's directed to Sekhoff. In with it now. That one is pointed to him. What a ripper from the point! Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. Sekatch is going to the box. It's a tripping minor. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. Player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. The clock bleeds down to the last minute. This power play has to find a way to get more people to the net. I sure agree, Eddie. You're not going to get an endless supply of power plays, but they get another one here. See if they can punch through. Save! And still another save. What a show! I thought the second save was better. They won that battle in the dots. Twist one. Miss just wide. He's got to do a better job at hitting the net. Pitching this one to Strong. Takes that pass from the other point man. Looking to make something happen from behind. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Whipped on the shot. Outstanding point blank save. And that one cleared by the penalty killers. Heading down low. Puck picked off. And the penalty killers come up big again. It's clear. Slid to Suzuki. Gets it out. They've got a long way to go on this one. They can move it fast, but they're up against the clock. The Jets have taken care of the penalty. Back at full strength. Missed. Ripped it, but ripped it just past the net. Got to hit the net on that opportunity. Winnipeg's along the wing at center ice. Got it at the point. And he hammers one. Save. Play stopped. That puck is just held. Twenty minutes have been recorded. Both teams have scored just once. A little bit of a tight contest here as we're getting ready for period two. Be sure to get next year's season tickets. as the second period is underway. Shot on. Turned away with the stick. He scores! A pair of goals by the same team. Well, you knew this goal was going to be huge. This game has been tied and hard fought. Winnipeg's broken the tie and gotten back ahead, and we're still in the second period. Should be fun just to get to the end of this one. Winnipeg They've got the draw. As that one measured at center. Loose puck, solid defensive play there. Grab that pass in the neutral zone. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. Calgary is sent to the box for two minutes. It's tripping. The Jets' power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. After an ineffective power play earlier in the game, let's see if they can get a little more organized, get the puck into the zone and get it on net far more frequently. Calgary's continuing on up the wing. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. Outstanding save. What magic even to get there and get the shot off. 
Looked like the net was open for a second, but he shut it down. That's great defense. Whistle is blown, and a man with guilt all over his face is going to box. Flames penalty. Calgary's roster goes down by one here. At least briefly, a minor penalty for hooking. A two-man advantage. A terrific opportunity ahead. You're right, Doc. This is a big advantage here. A five-on-three on the power play. It's one you have to capitalize on. He's got this one, and they're after him. Attack zone possession here. Great save. Nicely padded away. Save. Ponikarovsky's had an outstanding night. The ice has been tipped in his direction. He's done everything he can to hold this game close. Centering pass. Tosses it. Furious action, and now the penalty call. Calgary's two-minute penalty is a minor, and the call is hooking. Winnipeg's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Outstanding save with a glove. This 5-on-3 power play has to be careful that they don't get lulled into a sense of security here. And they move the puck around the outside and never challenge the penalty killers. Crosses that line. That puck's loose, mishandled. The roadblock help. That one dropped back into the opposite corner. The Jets are lugging it back through the defensive end. Flings it. Great glove save. And the referee's whistle has stopped play. A little under four minutes have transpired. We had a tie game until just moments ago. It's a one goal contest. Winnipeg's moving the puck up the wing. Slot shot. Terrific point blank save. Now that's a timely save. A beautiful one. Clock bleeding down on the power play. Got that one ahead at center ice. Right to the point. Tries to get it on net. That puck hit him on the way to the net. And he dumps it in. Laid on to Hansen. Calgary survived a long, long penalty kill. Trying to go to Goudreau. Directing that one to Code Kanyemi. Oh, and the pass just didn't work. Using the point. Great glove save. Calgary's quick on the draw. Reads the play and keeps it. Sometimes when you're behind, you're pressed to make a good play. See if you can do something to help your team get back in the game. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Save! Great poke check! It's one of those restraining fouls. It's a hooking penalty. And the arm of the referee is up. The Flames are given a hooking minor. Flames penalty to number 37. Two minutes for hooking. Time of the penalty. Five minutes, five seconds. This has been a power play that's gotten a lot of times, but no goals. Maybe that'll change with this one. There is no way he can continue to take a penalty like that. Way too many times he's put himself in bad body position, and then he has to take a penalty. Has that one measured in his own end. Carries it on in from center. Hansen's tripped, and a penalty should be coming. Play is halted, and we have yet another penalty call. Calgary's only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. The Jets get yet another power play opportunity. Maybe this will be the first they've sure had lots of practice. One of the biggest mistakes a five-on-three power play makes is they're looking for the perfect shot. The more you shoot it, the more you move the penalty killers around, and you start to tire them out. He's trying to spring him ahead, and he's got him. He's got it there. He wants to clear it out. Got it back out of the zone. The power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. Gains that offensive line. Thinking attack here. Right next to the line. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. 
Makes that play deep. Leads that charge into the zone. He wore that puck on a hard shot. A little over eight minutes have transpired here in the second. We were tied, and now it's a one-goal game. He lies on top of the puck as a last-ditch effort, and he got the whistle. The Jets need offense. They look to one of the highest goal scorers in the league. They know they can depend on him. What's remarkable is in a league where goal scoring can come and go, his consistency is among the best. Shoots that pass ahead. And cleared. That's a terrific job by Calvert. Winnipeg's power play failed them this time, and they had plenty of time. Good intercept in his own end. And he holds on and stops playing. Nice face-off work. Passing one off now to Sacha. Pitching it to Goudreau. Puck is thrown to Sergachev. I'd like to say that I think this game is going to open up and there's going to be all kinds of chances all over the place, but both teams have really adopted a never-give-an-inch style of play. I think this is tight checking right down to the final horn. Gives it to the point. Strong wrister. Oh, deflected away. Wonderful stop. Somehow, this one's going to come free. Snapping a pass. Oh, what a mean, mean hit that one was. That's probably... These two guys don't like one another, and they're proving it now. Oh, that was not a good hit at all. Now somebody's coming to the aid of the fallen teammate. Gotta hurt. What a way to leave your mark. Well, these guys will have five minutes to get back dressed and get ready to go again at some point. under six minutes to go. So this game has gone from being dead even to a leader. That faceoff is won. To the point it comes. Really good cut of the pass. Looking to Suzuki. The Flames gain it up on the side. And he sends it back into the opposite corner. Full steam up the wing. Back and forth they go between the points. Steps across that line. Terrific fake out. Winnipeg's in the neutral zone along the wing. Through the corner. From the outside. Save there. A little pass from his goalie here. Odd man rush, two on one. Hansen skating out of his own end. That puck was obstructed by a screen. And he steps in. Didn't get a thing of that one. Shot, great save, point blank. Fantastic setup and equally great stop by the goaltender. Ahead on that left wing to Sacha. Pass attempt to Goudreau. Good shooting place. Deflected off the blocker. Intercepted that one at an important place. Now a little bit of a sloppy turnover, Doc, but that looks like a guy just trying to make too much happen. He wants to get his team back in the game. Can start the attack going in the zone. The Jets with control at center ice. He is hooked. He kind of shook it off and continues to play. There'll be a penalty. Play is stopped again, and I'm almost out of ink on this penalty sheet. 
The Flames guilty of a minor penalty for using the stick blade. Just a hook. 16 minutes, 7 seconds. Winnipeg's power play has not been effective, but it has gotten a lot of practice. Let's see if they connect here. The Jets are fortunate to have him on their roster. He has among the highest point totals in the league. He's dangerous both with and without the puck. It's without the puck where he creates room for himself and becomes a dangerous offensive player. Winnipeg's carrying it in the defensive zone. Moving it to Sekhoff. Slides it to the point. Missed the net! That had a lot of steam on it, but he just missed the shot. Calgary's cleared. A lot of work, but penalty time less and less now. Brings it in for an attack. Let's it go. Swept us off. Lost possession there. Swept on to Hansen. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. And play stops for, guess what? Another penalty. Calgary penalty to number 16, Jason Zucker. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, 17 minutes. The Jets go on the power play yet again. It has come up empty with a lot of chances. There's not much new to a power play. It works the same way all the time. You get a good zone entry, you get the puck to the point, you shoot it, you move the penalty killers around. Let's see if they can do it this time. Using the point, he's got it. A long scorcher and a save. The Flames with a clean win on the draw. The cursed goals are the ones in the first minute and the last. Will we see one here? Our play time is continuing to wind. Way back, it's taken by Hansen. Taken away. Pitch back in to the corner. Looks over his options from the corner. Still time on this power play, but not much. Shot! At least he protected his goaltender. Intercepts that pass. Maybe he can generate something. And that one is cleared, and so the power play guys are going to have to drop back. Calgary's penalty kill was outstanding. Takes it in from the neutral zone. That puck's loose, defended away by Zucker. The Jets have it along the side at mid-ice. Decides to head for the corner. Terrific save, terrific opportunity. That great save was all positioning. And the period comes to an end. Woo! We all need a rest now. Don't forget to check out tonight's game highlights, post-game analysis, player interviews, and blogs on our... It is the third period, final period of regulation time we have started. Read that play in his own end. Now it's directed to Middlestat. Middlestat's tripped up. That should be a penalty. The Jets are boxed on a tripping minor. There is hope with every man advantage, even if your percentage is poor. Are you listening? Another power play in this game. Nobody's yet to score. I'm with you, Eddie. Maybe. advantage break and it is a break if only if you cash through they're able to score the power play goal has tied this contest up Calgary's got it off the draw at center by number 11 Nick Suzuki assisted by number 97 Mikhail Surgeon to the point 
line to the goal. In that defensive zone, an important play. to the point. A rocket! A great opportunity, but he missed the net. That's what you call there, grip it and rip it. He just missed it. That puck is loose. No luck getting through that. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. Has it back deep. Calgary's in possession as they travel up the wing. Ponikarovsky's at the bench. Delayed penalty continues. Extra man on. Winnipeg's been assessed a minor penalty. Two minutes. Penalty and the call is tripping. For tripping. Time to the penalty. One minute, nine seconds. A power play that can generate goals is special. And this one has been. Let's see if it continues. They've already had some success on the power play with a power play goal earlier in the game. They don't have to change much. Make sure you move the puck quickly and get traffic to the front of the net. Pitching this one to Middlestaff. That didn't go like he won. Driving in from no man's land. Trying to relieve some of the pressure. Shot it back out of his own end. The Flames are controlling in their own end. Trying to go to Sawcha. Calgary's power play still needs work. Takes a shot. Lasered off his head. Yeah, you heard it. You know what, Doc? I'd like to see these teams play this way while they're playing instead of after the whistles. Over three minutes off the clock in the third. The winds have shifted yet again. This is going to be an interesting third period. Takes that pass from the other point. That puck's loose. Went off someone. Still held in. Snaps one. Outstanding save with the glove. Hanson's an aggressive player, but his aggressiveness sometimes crosses the line. Well, I guess not sometimes. He has among the highest total penalty minutes in the league. He's going to sit again. The puck's dropped, and that's a great job tying the man up on that faceoff. You don't see this from these two teams a lot, pushing and shoving after whistles, but keep an eye on it. They lock up from the draw, and the teammate puts the grab on it. Gains the zone. Save! And holds on to that puck to get the whistle. Oh, he's going to have to do better than that. That wasn't much of a deke. He went to the forehand, and the goalie was waiting for him. Ponikarovsky's far and away been the best player in this hockey game. He has faced an inordinate amount of shots in this contest, stopped just about everything, and as a result, he's got to be the first star as his team is leading this game. Back on his stick. Gets that one on a cross. Oh, how can they miss that pass with a strong wrist shot? That one slung back out. Still more time on the power play, but less than they'd hoped. Directing that one to Middlestaff. Passing one off now to Sawchuk. Skates it into the zone. Not through. He cleared that puck out of there. Heads on to the corner. Pitching it to Goudreau. Shoots one. Good save there. He just flat out missed it. Save. Hangs on to that one for a stoppage in play. Over nine minutes skated here in the third. Calgary's lead is one, and it's a fresh lead. Puck is thrown to Skinner. Big hit, possession gone. Anytime you get hit in the open ice like that, that is a draw. Got that pass in his own end. Bodied off. 
He lugs it backwards. <laughs> Terrific determination by Hansen. Gets in and he'll look over his options. Important interception there. That's a free puck thanks to the play by Hansen. Cut that pass in his own end. Calgary's looking to head man up the wing. Skinner's trying to do way too much there with that offensive opportunity. Steps in from the neutral zone. Picks it up in his own end. Calgary's in their own end, hoping to make a play to center. Good place to shoot from, and he does. A shot. Grab. Down to ringside we go yet again. Ray, what do you know? Podokorovsky's been incredibly stable tonight. Any chance that's come his way, he's snuffed it out. He's given his team so much confidence. That's a championship performance tonight. Look how fortunate his team is that he's played like this. No, you're right, Ray. Eddie and I agree. It's just another one. Got iron with the shot. Chris pass to the left. It's dumped in. To Hansen. Is able to move on in. Cut that pass in his own end. I guess that's a mistake with the puck as he turns it over, but he's just trying to make something happen. Maybe a little too aggressive there. Scooped up. A shot. Point blank save. A timely save. That is tremendously tremendous. Winnipeg's roster goes down by one here. At least briefly, a minor penalty for hooking. Jets penalty to number six, Lucas Johansson. Two minutes for hooking. Time of the penalty, 13 minutes, 18 The seconds. Flames are presented with a great opportunity here. It's a long five on three. You're right, Doc. This is a big advantage here. A five on three on the power play. It's one you have to capitalize on. Chip to middle step. A shot. Solid bad save. Still more time killed as they have to drop back and regroup. Snapping a pass to Sacha. This game has been tightly contested the entire way. I can't see either team stretching. He won't avoid something for doing that. He goes after the star, and so somebody's going to step in. The decision of the referee is final. It was worth five each for fighting. This is old-time hockey. Every whistle invites a scrum. Guys seem to be more involved punching each other in the nose than they are trying to score a goal. Jets penalty to number 48. A five-minute major for fighting. Time of the penalties, 14 minutes, 43 seconds. <laughs> Early opportunities gone by the wayside, they find a way to hold on.